You can enter data in planning, financial consolidation and close, tax reporting, and freeform. In this tutorial, you learn how to enter and save data in planning. You enter data on forms. You use form elements to navigate between different views of data and perform different actions on data. Let's take a look at forms in the application. Typically, forms include the following sections. Buttons to access the Actions menu, Save and Refresh Form Data, a Point of View, or POV, that allows you to select the member data intersection to work with, data cells, or a grid similar to a spreadsheet. By default, forms and form folders are accessible through the data card on the application home page. After selecting the POV and page members, you can enter data. Application forms use colors to indicate cell conditions. White means that you can enter data in these cells. Yellow cells indicate that you have changed values but haven't saved them. We call these dirty cells. Gray cells indicate that you can see but not change their values. They are read only. Locked cells are also grayed out with a lock icon. Teal cells have supporting detail. Cells with validation rules may also change colors, depending on what color was selected when the rule was defined. Use the right-click menu to add or modify comments, supporting detail, or attachments. Click Save to submit data changes entered on the form. After entering data, click Refresh to undo your changes. Next, I'll edit this form and enable the Autosave feature. When you edit data on a form, with the Grid Property option Autosave enabled, changes are automatically saved when you move out of a cell with no prompt or message. Cell values are aggregated to their parents, and the affected cells display with a green background. With this option selected, you can use Ctrl plus Z to undo changes. You navigate between cells, similar to a spreadsheet. For example, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move between cells. Press the Tab key to move the cursor to the cell on its right. Pressing Shift-Tab moves the cursor to the previous cell in the row. Pressing the Enter key moves the cursor to the cell below it. Pressing Ctrl plus Home takes the cursor to the first cell in the form, while pressing Ctrl plus End moves the cursor to the last cell in the form. For a complete list of keyboard shortcuts, click the Help button and locate the Navigating Quickly in a Form topic. Let's take a look at another form. For cells that allow you to enter only dates, click in that cell. Then click the calendar icon and select a date. Some cells allow you to enter only predefined values contained in a smart list. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.